Dr. Chung, what is it? Chao Chung, please tell me. Do I really have a problem with handling doctor-patient relationships? Huh? Do you think that Shaka Shin and I have an emotional or a doctor-patient relationship? Well, I think you have both. Then I really don't get it. Why can't I look at a patient as a friend, as a relative, or a lover? When I see all the pain they go through, is it wrong for me to feel bad for them? Hey, I just want to help them realize a small dream of theirs before they leave this world for good. Is there something wrong with that? No, I don't think there is. Then why do others think that it's unusual when I do this? They all think that I'm... amateurish. I just don't understand. <sighs> Dr. Chung, did you call me here just so you could get this out of your system? To vent out? Or do you honestly want to know what I think? <laughs> I'm so sorry. I just got carried away. Actually, I really want to know what you think. I actually think doctor-patient relationships are situational. Both sides will always be under very tense circumstances, and sometimes the developing situation may even prove to be dangerous. Here's an example. Let's say that a bad songwriter composed a not-so-good song, and within the song, none of the notes were good at all. Then you realize that, amongst all the notes, there's suddenly one that's actually really harmonious. What would you think? You'd think it's the least harmonious of all since it's different from the rest. If all doctor-patient relationships were really harmonious, then this case with you and Shakishin would already be considered really normal. <laughs> you really are a writer. Amazing. Thanks a lot. Dr. Chung, I should thank you too. I've discovered that since I've been with you, my ideological level has grown higher every day. Oh, oh, oh easy now. Are you <laughs> praising me or are you praising yourself? <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm good. You can go. Dr. Chung, seriously? That stuff we talked about, can I post it online? Sure. Of course. <laughs> Nowadays, some people believe that a doctor and a patient are two separate and distinctive identities. The doctor serves to heal and get rid of illness, and at the same time, care for the patient as well. They are opposed to the doctor and patient getting too close and believing that if the doctor cares too much for the patient, it may result in an irrational diagnosis and at the same time cause unnecessary problems. Then there are some who believe otherwise, that the doctor-patient relationship is like treating each other as a close friend, a family, or a lover. While making the patient feel their kindness, the doctor should also help them to strengthen their will to fight against their condition. Looks good. You're awake. Nice flowers. So who are they from, huh? <laughs> I don't know. There's no name. Maybe it's from a friend of mine who didn't know that the wedding was canceled. It says happy wedding day. <laughs> I'm thinking it was probably someone from the hospital then. <laughs> Shakeshin, congratulations. These are for you. I'll just put them here. Dr. Chung, hmm. I support you. Go for it. Thanks a lot. Why would they still give me flowers? That's because your wedding isn't canceled. What do you mean? What I mean is... me. I'm gonna be the groom. <sighs> <laughs> I was just joking. I'm a grown man, so how can I not do what I said I would do, huh? How will that work? It's okay, don't worry, all right? Actually, it's already all set up. It's not canceled. The wedding's still on, and everything has already been prepared. Like it or not, it's there.
Thank you, Dr. Chang. Dr. Cheng, come here. The director is calling. Let me just go talk to him. So that's how it is. I found it strange. Yesterday, so many people were against it, and then it suddenly changed. I never imagined Xiao Chong's post online would work. I'm surprised. He's pretty talented. I decided to support you after reading it. Hmm. Let me know if you need anything. Everything's ready now, but we just need one more day to finish it all. Do you think that... Of course. Just tell me who else is going. I'll switch their shifts. Director! I won't be able to make it. When you see Shia Keshin, tell her I send my blessings. Will do. Be sure to bring all the supplies you might need. With her condition right now, you better be prepared. Mm. Yes, of course. Do you have a minute? Sure. Hubo is leaving today. We're going to see him off. Hubo's leaving today? Mm. Let's get going then. Mm. Let's go. Director, all stats are normal. You've made such a great recovery, it's a miracle. Dad, you can go home. Are you happy? Of course I'm happy. <laughs> I told you guys I was fine, didn't I? You guys were just making it all up. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Hubo. Yes? Keep a close eye on the state of your health. Avoid oily foods. Take it easy. If there's any problem, remember to call us yes, right yes, away. Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Remember to call, all right? Also, take a lot of photos and send them to us. You guys really have a lot to say. <laughs> oh, why didn't you tell us you're leaving? Oh, you three. I can't escape. Let me guess. You want to tell me to have a peaceful journey. Hobo, don't worry. We won't say that. We made an agreement. <laughs> we'll just say one thing, and we're sure you're going to like and it. And that's what? We, we, we three wish, wish you a happy, happy honeymoon, honeymoon, and, and you may have, have a early son. son. What? <laughs> me having a baby at this age? Can't you three say anything serious at all? <laughs> Look, allow me to change just one word. I'm sure you'll like You'll it. just mess up like them. No, I swear. You guys repeat after me. We wish you both a happy honeymoon and an early grandson. <laughs> we <laughs> three wish you both a happy honeymoon and an early grandson. There you go. <laughs> now that's much better. <laughs> Best of luck, all right? You uh, rascal. I'm not even married yet. Then you better hurry up, man. Aren't you single too? Oh, forget about me. I'm about to get married really soon. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thanks everyone. Have fun Be careful. You too. <laughs> Bye, Hobo. Bye, now. Easy. Watch your head now. Get it. Get it. Bye. Thank you so much. Let's get going now. Right. Dean Chu will be gone for more than a week. That's all right. I'll send over the documents the Academy asked for this afternoon. They won't be late. Uh, yes, Dean Chu will definitely be reappointed this election. All right, thank you. Uh, Director Lee. Where's Dean Chu? He's not here. Well, he hasn't come home for several days now. He's away on business. He'll be gone for at least a week. Where did he go then? Did he take that woman's ashes to Guizhou? Director Li, Dean Chu, he really didn't tell me where he was going. And I can't just assume. Fine, I'm on to you. You're loyal till the end. Oh, right. I heard you say that he's expecting to be reappointed as Dean, is that true? Oh, yes. Then please let him know. I'm still his wife! We are not officially divorced yet. If he wants to be reappointed, he better be nice. Director Lee, that's not really my place to tell him that. And this is a personal matter between you two. It's best to keep family matters at home, correct? <laughs> I don't need your advice. Understand? Hello? Li Lanying, what do you want? Hey, where are you? Did you go to Guizhou? I came here in the morning for you, but Director Wu said you left. Just tell me what you want. I'm busy. What is it with you? Why would you go to Guizhou without telling me? 
I could have gone with you. I'm not that cold, you know. That's enough. I did not answer this call just to hear what you had to say. I just wanted to tell you that it's over between us now. What? Hold on! Aren't you asleep yet? I couldn't sleep. Tomorrow's my wedding day. I'm too excited. <laughs> That's why you especially need to get a good night's rest. I'm telling you, tomorrow will be a tiring day. If you don't get your rest, how will you even make it through, huh? I'll try to sleep then. Dr. Chung, can you tell me what the wedding will be like? Can't do that. It has to be a surprise. Oh, but I really want to know. Hmm, okay then. But all I can really do is give you a tiny bit of inside information, okay? Sit down and tell me. Sure. <laughs> okay. I'll just say a few key words. Not too much now, all right? Mm -hmm. Beach. Rainbow. Tents. Balloons. That's it! <laughs> a beach? Hmm. It's at the sea? <laughs> the sea is so far from here. And it would be so expensive. Impossible. Must be the canal park. I remember there's a beach there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, stop. Stop trying to guess. Just believe me. Your dream will come true for sure. You believe me, right? Yes, I do. All right, then. Now go ahead. Go to sleep already. You'll need your energy. Understand? Good night, Dr. Chang. Good night. All set to go? You look great. You look handsome too. <laughs> <laughs> Enough of that. It's almost time to go. We better head out. Right. Let's go. <laughs> nice. Real nice. Come on, maid of honor. Let's go. Hey, I'm the best man. We have to hook arms. Huh? <laughs> old flower children, Xiao Chen and Meng in front, Rong Rong and Chan Li in the back. Let's go. Come You're on. You're an old flower child. You're an oh. old flower child. You're an old uh. flower child. Elder oh. flower child. Okay. You can sleep for a bit if you're tired. <laughs> Bet you never. Imagine you'd be attending Chung Jin's wedding first. How do you feel about that? 
You must be really bored, huh? Huh. <laughs> Do I have to start begging conversation just because I'm bored? <sighs> What's wrong? Hmm? Busy at home again last night? What can I do? A poor family son has to marry young, right? When are you planning to get married? Zo Yimang and I cannot even compare to you and Shan Chen Chuan. Our families are not well off. We'll have to take care of the money first, then go from there, I guess. For us, our biggest problem isn't money. Really now? Then tell me now, do you still think Chung Jun is the best choice? You're really bored, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> Hey Wang Bo, mm. do you and Zhu Yimang ever fight about things? What's the usual reason? Well, I'm not telling you. <laughs> <laughs> Take a look at this. After a check on this hey, one. Lin. Is Wu Yang here? Wu oh, Yang? Mm. But she's in Sha Keshin's wedding. She went? As maid That's of right. Honor? I thought the best man would be you. Do you know when she'll be back? I'm guessing in the evening. Are you proposing to me? Who said I was? I'm just thinking ahead, that's all. Okay, okay, everybody, come here. It's starting. Come on. Go. Here. We're here? Yeah. Take a look. What do you think? It's exactly as I dreamed. <laughs> How are you feeling, huh? You feeling okay? Give her some oxygen. Mm. Sounds good. Here. Turn the knob. Hurry! <laughs> <laughs> Much better. Let's start. Great. Come on. <laughs> so wonderful. Congratulations, you two. Congratulations. Thanks, man. Thanks a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Looking sharp, huh? <laughs> <laughs> to the hospital. Right. Yes, Shen. We're taking you to the hospital, okay? No. The blue seawater. The white sandy beach. And then... an archway made of balloons. Thank you, everyone. All that's left... Is the wedding room. I want to see the wedding room. Okay?
Let's just do as she wishes. Many balloons. Mm -hmm. Are there messages inside? But of course. <laughs> Go ahead.
You guys think if we hadn't had that wedding, would she have lived for a few more days? What's the point in living a few more days? Didn't you see the way she smiled? When she passed on, she must have felt really happy. What do you think, Xiao Chong? Where are you going? To check on Dr. Cho. Dr. Chung, are you okay? How could I be okay? Do you want someone to talk to? No thanks. We knew it would end like that. We were prepared. I'll be fine. Dr. Chung, I respect you. Among all the doctors that I know, you're the only one who can do that. Let the patient pass away while smiling. You're the best doctor I've ever seen. Thanks a lot. So the night shift last night was quite typical. We accepted five new patients and released eight. One rather critical, hemorrhage of the cerebral lobe. Director Zeng? We'll go checking the rooms in a bit. There's one more thing that I want to talk about. Our department has been quite busy in the past few weeks. Oh, also, Hubo was being treated here. Then Mrs. Yang Shueha and Xia Keshin all at the same time. It was hard for us to keep up. But everyone did an excellent job. We held a wedding for Hubo at the hospital. And as it turns out, it had a great influence on the hospital and local community. I would like to thank everyone for their hard work. In particular, Qian Li, Rong Rong, and Chang Zheng. You worked especially hard. Thank you very much. And I'd like to take this chance to give special praise to Dr. Cheng Zheng. He handled Xie Keshin's situation with great responsibility. I was a little anxious about it at first, I was concerned that in the hospital, or even in the department, there would be some misunderstanding. But now it seems to be unnecessary. The doctors of our department are the front lines of saving lives. Not only do you treat patients, you must also show respect and care for life. In this regard, I want to solemnly express my praise to Dr. Zheng Zhen for a great job. <laughs> There's something else. Mrs. Yang Shueha passed away a few days ago. I hope that we can avoid discussing it. Because everything that comes out of our mouths will have unnecessary consequences. I think that everyone understands the implications involved. And one last thing. The graduation thesis, defense, graduation appraisal, and placement are coming up very soon. All three of our department interns have performed quite well. I've informed the office to keep your names on the department staff list. I hope you can do well on the home stretch as well and earn yourselves a satisfying outcome. All right? That's it. End of meeting. Let's go. <sighs> what should we do? Xiao Chong, are you going to stay at Shiwa Hospital? Meng Meng, any word from ophthalmology? Haven't decided yet. You? I do want to go to obstetrics. I went to see Director Niu a bunch of times, but she won't talk to me. When I asked Dr. Zhang, she said she'd help me, but that's the last I ever heard of it. I've already settled on it too. Then a few days ago when I went to see the director, he said the last few names hadn't been finalized. If I had the chance to go, I definitely wouldn't stay in ER. If I could go to obstetrics, I would too. Uh, uh, uh. <sighs> then we can't leave. Director Zhang all on his own? He's done so much for us. That's right. Actually, I'm pretty hesitant. But if I had no choice, I really couldn't stand the ER. Xiao Chong, no matter what the case, you should stay. With your report card, you'd be really lucky if they let you stay, right? Why do you always have to joke with me? I'm not as bad as you think, okay? All right, that's enough, you guys. Let's just think about what we should say to Director Zeng. Yeah, how should we tell him? How about like this? All three of us say we want to stay in ER and have Director Zeng secure our places. No way! That's like lying. None of us want to stay in the ER. If we said that, we wouldn't be fooling him. I know, but what should we do then? Everyone's first choice is household registration and their ideal department, and second is registration and another department. You need one or the other. I guess in a way that makes sense, but I'd feel sorry for Director Zeng. I can't look him in the eye now, so I won't say it. I can't say it. Enough. I'm worse off than either of you. Because I've never wanted to stay in the ER. To tell you the truth, my report card looks terrible. 
Plus, I've been there so long. And yeah, I do like it there. But I'm afraid to stay too. Why is that? You look like you're really active there, as if you love the ER more than anyone. Sometimes it's too much. In addition to working like a dog every day, my mood feels like a roller coaster, going up and down. My nerves aren't that strong. I really can't stand it. <sighs> I actually think that way sometimes too. I really like the people in the ER as well as the work environment. But aside from having a heavy, tiring workload, you feel like you're in a seesaw all day. I can't take it either. Sometimes I just think, why torture myself like that? Mm. I often think that too. All the patients want to go to a big hospital, and all the students would like to go there too. But then the hospital is doing great and everyone fights for promotions. You think that that's how we'll spend the rest of our lives? Yeah. And I just realized that Xiao Chan can actually say something useful. Then what should we do? Stay in the big hospital? There's quite a bit of a potential there. Meng Meng, did you ever consider a private hospital? There's a lot nowadays, and they have obstetrics, ophthalmology, everything. I think in the near future, there will be private hospitals everywhere. That is true. Private hospitals have good pay rates and work environments. But making that step won't be an easy one. Xiao Chong, what do you think? Uh, me? Yeah. Where do you want to go if not in the ER? I haven't decided yet, but I'm sure the result will surprise everyone. <sighs> hmm? Yes, hello? Oh, graduation registration form? Uh, I'll let them know. We'll have them in soon. Yes, thank you. Mm -hmm. Student Affairs wants us to hand in our forms. <sighs> <sighs> Doctor, you have to take a look at this. Dr. Cho. Oh, Mr. Sha. I came to do Kashin's death certificate and to see you as well. Has everything been all sorted out? It's all arranged. Dr. Chung, thank you for making her dream come true. She left without any regrets. No need for that. It's all part of my duty. If there's anything you need, just give me a call anytime. If I'm not busy, I'll see you right away. <sighs> Let's go to the office then. It's this way. Sure. Hmm. Wrong, wrong. What are you looking at? Let's go eat. These pictures are just incredible. They're all so beautiful. Amazing. Perfect. And Dr. Chang looks so handsome. Hmm. What do you suppose he was thinking? Do you think he maybe had real feelings for Ketchin? That's nonsense. I think that he's an outstanding doctor. I think he had real feelings for her at one point, even though they were just doctor and patient. If a man doesn't feel anything towards a woman, there's absolutely no need for him to organize a wedding. If you ask me. Kashin was a great girl. Mm. She was pretty and nice, too. If she hadn't gotten sick, she and Dr. Chung would have been a perfect couple. Mm. Yeah. It's too bad. Wrong, wrong. How about we get married now? We should be together whenever we can, so we don't have regrets in life. Are you proposing to me? Yes. Do you accept? That looks so insincere. Do better. Don't forget, I'm older than you. You're still a little kid. If one day you decide to grow up and get a divorce, I'll have to think about it. Let's go, it's lunchtime. I think that house we just saw was pretty good. Way better than the two from yesterday. It's a really nice place. Mm. Spacious and a good location. But isn't 10,000 a month too much? Once we pay the rent, we won't have money to eat. <laughs> a cheap one won't do. A good one costs too much. Then if our family buys one for us, we feel like we owe them. <laughs> but we can't afford one for ourselves. <sighs> How'd we get so pathetic, oh young? So TV dramas are completely true. Dating and marriage are totally different. Romance mm -hmm. is enough in dating, but marriage is something else. We haven't even settled yet. 
but we're already exhausted. So what? Do you regret it now? We can take a break any time. <laughs> there you go again. That's why you should never provoke the lion. <laughs> you get set off like that. I'll do whatever you say, dear boss. If I'm the boss, we'd stay at my house. Huh? I've got a big room. Don't we still need a down payment? Once we have enough, we'll move out. How's that? <sighs> Wouldn't my mom be furious when she finds out I want to live with you after marrying you? You're afraid that the both of us won't have our own private space and that my mom will come to stay with us. And so you don't want to get a big house. But now, if I go live with you, we won't have our own space. And what if I don't get along with your parents? In any case, we have to make a choice soon. I can't just keep asking for days off to go look at houses. Let's just call it a day and go back to the hospital. Sure, let's head back. I've got a patient to check on. Right. <sighs> let's go. Dr. Lee, you're here. I'm sorry. What are you so flustered about? What do you want? Oh, I just came to drop off our graduation forms. I heard we're the last ones who have it yet. Uh, d Director Lee, I want to ask you something. How many slots are still left in obstetrics? <laughs> How many spots? No matter how many there is, you won't get in. It's very popular and competitive. Plus, who'd take you? You're not from around here. Director Lee, can't you say some good things about me? <sighs> what can I say about you? Does anybody listen to me anymore? Sorry, I can't help you with that. Of course people still listen to you. You're the director and the dean's wife. You have lots of authority. Enough. Stop trying to make me feel better. Get out of here. I have work to do. <sighs> Director Lee, the Dean is still just dwelling on the past. Don't be anxious. Everything will get better. You'll see eventually. Don't tell me what to do! <sighs> Why can't I be anxious? Just look at me. I'm a woman in her 50s. And suddenly I lost everything. I can't calm down for all these years. Every day, there's compliments. Every day, they smile at me. Then literally, overnight, everyone looks at me like they don't know me. How can I keep calm like that? I understand how you feel. Sorry, Director Lee. I've got a phone call. Hello, Xiao Chang? I'm here in Director Lee's office. Huh? Wu Ran's dad's here? Does he need all that for reimbursement? Okay, got it. I'll be right there. Director Lee, there's a situation. I've got to get going. Wait. Did you just say Wu Run's dad was here? Yes. He's just here to verify his reimbursement. I've got to go. Bye, Director Lee. Just. 
间靠近一点，温暖也多一些。我发现爱没有白天黑夜。我相信真爱会永远，是心跳，是直觉。爱的信念不会熄灭，勇往直前，不顾一切。如果时间只剩一天，我还会为爱勇敢一点，再一天，再一天，紧紧拥抱这个世界。如果心跳可以听见，就能听懂我爱的宣言。请让我陪在你的身边，再爱一爱你的世界 ，Love forever。看得见，萦绕在我耳边，像梦一样盘旋。我的心感受那么强烈，感受那么直接，拥有那感觉。心之间靠近一点，温暖也多一些。发现爱。没有白天黑夜，我相信真爱会永远，是心跳，是直觉。爱的信念不会熄灭，勇往直前，不顾一切。如果时间只剩一天，我还会为爱勇敢一点，再一天，再爱一遍，紧紧拥抱这个世界。如果心跳。可以听见，就能听懂我爱的宣言。请让我陪在你的身边，在你的世界。如果时间只剩一天，我还会为爱勇敢一点，再一天，再一遍，紧紧拥抱这个世界。如果心跳可以听见，就能听懂我爱的宣言。请让我。陪在你的身边，再爱爱你的世界 ，Love forever。